start with, if you just look at uh, the situation that we're dealing with here in the United States and in the world, uh, we're looking at maybe 2 billion more people by 2050. They got to be fed. Um, agriculture, you know, you can say, well, what's important? You got to have food. And U.S. agriculture, we export a third of what we produce, roughly. And uh, we need to be able to keep this up and keep increasing production. And uh, I know you talked earlier about uh, 150 years since Abraham Lincoln uh, started the Department of Agriculture, land grant universities. And we've done a wonderful job of, of, of moving forward with research and education. Uh, and we've managed to feed the United States and countries around the world. But we've got to continue to do this. And you don't do it unless you continue to focus on research and, and looking ahead. I guess that might be one of my first points. I don't think we're paying enough attention to research today. Uh, maybe we will, especially if we don't have quite enough food or have a, another drought or two. But I think we've got to look at that I think we got to look at agriculture industry in the United States and make sure that it's, it is appreciated and protected and given the chance to do what I know we can do in a free and open market system. But we have, we have challenges. We've got animal rights people climbing down our throat, trying to tell us what to do, what not to do, how to raise our livestock. We've, we've got government trying to regulate everything. Every, everything that crawls is going to be under regulation if we don't stand up and, and, and stop it. So these are challenges that we face. Uh, I, th I think that uh, beyond those kind of challenges, I know we'll talk about the farm bill. I will just tell you, in rural America, going back to the farm, coffee with the guys, others, the farm bill's important, but it is not as high a priority is a lot of these other things that, that I'm talking about now. And we got John on a roll already here. <laughs> you, know, you can see what it's going to be like. Yeah, I'm going to. Anyway, the last thing I would say, and it's not farm, just farm, but the debt that this country is looking at today, and you look around the world and you see Greece and you see Europe and the struggles they have, we don't want to go that route. And I know that's. That's not the South 40, and it's not the cornfield, but let me tell you, it can impact all of our lives if we don't deal with that problem. Great points, John. Thank you. Clayton. Uh, Jeff, we should just all say amen to that and uh, let everybody go home. <laughs> <laughs> At least I would say amen to that, uh, that's for sure. Uh, uh, just a couple things to start off with, uh, Jeff. I would say uh, one is, uh, as Jack indicated, uh, We've got a challenge of feeding the world, as you know, as well as anyone, Jeff. That means we've got to do everything better in the future. Uh, and so all of us who are involved in uh, American agriculture in any way have just got to figure out how to do everything better than we do today uh, in a sustainable way with less land devoted to agriculture uh, than uh, exists today. That's going to be a major challenge for all of us, and we can talk about that uh, some more here tonight. Uh, but I'll, I'll give you one little anecdote that reflects that, and, uh, and I'll talk about other things later then. But the anecdote which can, uh, reflects the need for constantly improving our productivity uh, and our efficiency uh, comes from a uh, meeting I attended in London a few years back. And uh, it was the, uh, uh, a speech by the CEO of one of the largest chemical companies in the, in the world. And I've always remembered it because what he said was that uh, he said, I'll be brash enough to say that I think I run the best, most productive, most efficient chemical company in the world. But he said, I realize that every morning when I get up, I have to run faster than I did the day before. 
And that's a pretty good illustration of what the kind of challenges we have in agriculture as well.